like everything's pumpkin. Everything. <laughs> Hi kitty cats! So today I'm going to give you my September favorites, which isn't as much as I would like it to be, but then you know I always feel like I don't have enough favorites, so whatever. Um, <laughs> of course, the thing with me once fall hits, of course, is always pumpkin spice. I know some people like apple cider, some people like the falling leaves. I want pumpkin spice everything, and I'm not just talking about food. I talk about scents as well. I like pumpkin scents. Pumpkin scented candles. Bath and Body Works makes like a pumpkin marshmallow one, like a couple different pumpkin marshmallow ones that are like really, really just smells so good. It just is amazing. And like everything's pumpkin. Everything. <laughs> I eat pumpkin spice mini wheats that I was eating the other day. I really am crazy for pumpkin. It drives some of my friends nuts. It's become kind of a running joke with one of my friends that she hates it, even though she doesn't really hate it. She just thinks it's like overdone. And then I just like throw lots of pumpkin spice stuff at her anyways to just like be like, ah. So, <laughs> a little crazy. And so really food wise, that's like a lot of what's been going on. Lots of pumpkin spice things. And of course, pumpkin spice Oreo cookies are amazing, but I can't buy them because they are highly addictive and I just can't, I just can't. So <laughs> that's not happening. Um, TV shows, I'm, I'm gonna get to makeup and stuff, but I wanna get this stuff out of the way. TV shows right now, Scream Queens is back. Love Scream Queens. Couldn't believe how much I liked it last year. Last year I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be that crazy about this. But I was like, oh, but that girl from Glee's in it. I'll watch it. And <laughs> then I watch it and I was like, oh my God, I like need to keep watching this so much. And so my friends got really into it and we would be like on the phone being like, oh my God, did you watch Scream Queens? It really became like a big thing. And my daughter loves it. My boyfriend likes it even. So we all watch Scream Queens. This year I'm a little, a little concerned it's maybe even sillier than last year. Like, it may have gotten a little too silly. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of that show. If you haven't watched it, it's just really, really, really silly, cheesy. With it, kind of like making fun of horror, shit, horror movies in a way. And it goes beyond and above the crazy silliness. But it also sometimes makes them really like fantastical points um and i i love i love it so that of course also if you want to talk about binge watching which i do a lot of binge watching because i have insomnia issues so i'll be up all night and i try and read but it's hard for me to like um read sometimes because i'm kind of weird about how i read like i need to read usually when I'm laying down and lately laying down has been on my bed has been uncomfortable. I need some sort of new topper for it. And, uh, cause the one we had just got, got, I don't know. It needs to be washed or something. It needs to be dry cleaned. I think might be the issue. So it's uncomfortable for me to like lay down on it. So a lot of times I go to sleep in my recliner and because it's really good on my back, because it keeps my back straight. I'm like a person that actually sleeps better when I'm sitting up. And yet it's harder for me to read when I'm sitting up. I don't know why, but I have trouble concentrating on reading when I'm sitting up. It doesn't make any sense at all, but that's just how I am. Anyways, in the meantime, 
So uh, when I've been, I binge watch shows like late at night and the binge watching lately has been The Good Wife. I never watched it before and I'm down to the last season of it after like a couple weeks of binge watching it. More than a couple, like two or three weeks. And uh, I'm just like, oh my God, what am I going to do when the season's over? Like when this last season's over, what am I going to do? Like, because I'll have no more Good Wife to watch. And what what can I do? <laughs> that same thing happened to me with, um, what's that show? Scandal. Like I didn't watch it. And then I watched like all the seasons of it. And it was just, when it's over, you're like, what? What do I do with my life now? <laughs> it's just like when you're reading like a series of books. You know what I mean? Like you read like two or three like books that are in a series and then it's over. And you're like, what am I supposed to do? Like you almost don't want to finish reading because you know when you get to the end, that's it. It's over. And there's nothing more. And it's the same thing like when you're watching a TV show, except... I know there's going to be another year scandal, but I have to wait for it. It's almost worse because it's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, how, how am I going to get to that next part? Um, and I mean, it happens to everybody with TV shows, especially these days because lots of people binge watch, uh, seasons, you know, like, uh, Orange is the New Black is very popular. Like once it like comes on, people watch it in like two days or whatever. And then they're like, oh my God, I have to wait a whole year to see the next one, this next part. And it's like, don't watch it in two days. <laughs> that might not, you might want to stretch it out some more. Anyways, The Good Wife has been what I've been into. Totally into that. So surprised by how many good actors that are in that, that I've known from other shows, which is, makes it even more fun. And Alan Cummings and Michael J. Fox are both in it. Like, that alone just makes it amazing to me. Um, both, like, really good actors and ones that I can really appreciate and are good people outside of acting, you know? So, anyways, now I'll move on to the things that I actually liked in the beauty world. So, I'm really into the Julep Nail Polishes that I got. Uh, this one was very, very nice for... It's more of a summer color, but I did wear it like last week and I thought, well, I can get away with this because it's kind of like, it's like a creamsicle color. So it's a light, like pale peach orangish color, which can be okay for fall, right? So I wore that. These I wore together. Um, they were a lot of fun. I did like this color and then I did this color on top of it with like a little sponge to give it some texture. And these were really cute. This together. one is Navina. This one is Saya, the cream skull colored one. And this one is Shelly, which was this, I really like this color and I plan on using it again. Um, I, have, well, I plan on using them all again. I really love the colors. I'm wearing these colors right now and just such great nail polishes. They last longer so far than any other nail polish that I've used. So I'm really impressed with them. Um, this came in an Ipsy bag. It is the IT Cosmetics No Tuck Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. I'm not wearing it right now, but so far when I have used it, it has been really nice and it stays put and it lasts a good long time. So great, great eyeliner. Then, um, lip stuff. We've got these. I've been really into lip crayons. They're really easy to go on. Um, today, if you're wondering where I'm wearing today, I don't even know if it's even on anymore. It is. It's coming off. I'm sorry, people. I'm sorry that I'm wearing lipstick that's coming off. That's terrible. So, you know what I could do? I could just throw this on top of it and see what happens. You never know. Oh, it looks awful together, doesn't it? And I'm getting it everywhere because I can't see what I'm doing. All right, we're just going to wipe off. My lips. I was wearing a uh, Tattoo Junkie lip paint, which are really awesome. They're almost like a lip kit sort of thing. And they're probably stinging my lips a little bit because I found them to be really hard to come off. 
I had a stain here after I swatched it for like ever. Um, and I'm gonna have a different video having to do with the Tattoo Junkies lip paints. I'm really um, excited about that. But in the meantime, I have been really liking lip crayons. Um, there are two different ones I have here. One is from Mana, Mana Kadar. Um, Beauty Simplified Lip Lock, Priming Up the World. And there was no color for name of the color. It's just shows the end here and that's the color. And um, this is just a nice basic everyday kind of mobby nude color. This one is more of a darker color. And this one has a name, I think, doesn't it? No, I think this, does this one not have a name too? You know, for some reason, these do not have names, the lip crayons. Super weird. Um, this is a MD measurable difference lip color stick. I think I got both of these in lip monthlies in the past and I really like them. I like lip crayons. They're so easy to like kind of swipe on usually. Today, I'm just, my energy's really up and it's like, oh my God, you know, I was, and I was trying to put it over something else and it just got really messy. This, however, oh my God, it looks so messy because there's still some stain from the uh, um, Tattoo Junkies lip stuff. This is baby lips and everybody's seen this before. Maybelline's baby lips. I'm sure you've seen them. They're like really awesome. I never used them before, my daughter did. And I got a hold of one and I was like, it smells like cherry to me. Um, it doesn't taste like anything. And it keeps my lips really smooth. It's slightly tinted. So it's something I can wear in the house like during the day to keep myself moisturized. Um, and then if somebody by ha perhaps comes by, my lips are tinted. Today they'll look awful because there's like purple there that makes it look like somebody punched me in the lip. But anyhow, <laughs> next thing is some brushes. Um, this brush is a Coastal Sense brush. I got in a set from Ipsy and it was one of those deals. It was an Ipsy offer and I bought the three brushes. This is a stippling brush, which was really nice for highlight to just tap on highlight, which is why it's a little dirty right now because it's got my wet and wild highlight on there and these are great this is a great brush i was surprised because i don't have any coastal scent brushes um and i ended up I, I like this coastal scents brush so it might be something more coastal scent brushes i'll get in the future this is an elf kabuki brush and i was unsure when i first got it because of the way it's shaped like it's i'm used to kabuki brushes that are like just straight you know almost like it, they go fan out, but and they're round, but they're straight on top. And this one is like rounded on top. But it ends up being very good for um, my powder, and um, good for blending too. But mostly I use it for my powder, and it's been working pretty well. So I've been using it like all month, and it's made me happy, 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 happy. And if you're wondering anything else. It might make me happy. Burt's Bees lip balm also always makes me happy. Pumpkin Spice, once again. Woohoo! So, lots of lip stuff. Which we already had gone over the lip stuff, but then I remembered that that was there. So, I was like, I wanted to go over that. Whew! Right? Also, I went to a Steampunk Con. Many of you might know because they put a little vlog up about it. And that was a favorite thing that I did during September. It was really awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fun, fun. It's small. It's not like a big giant con, but that's better for me because a big giant con might scare the living who knows what out of me. So <laughs> that would probably be bad. So yeah, not that would not be great. And of course, my kitty cat ears. Actually, I just got these the other day, so that's not a September favorite, but aren't they cute? My kitty cat ears. I'm very excited about my kitty cat ears. I want like a whole bunch of kitty cat ears just to wear. Right? That would be totally something that would be great for me. <laughs> Anyhow, so that's my September favorites. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be talking to all of you soon again. Yay! Bye-bye, kitty cats!
and where are the names? That's something you probably want to know. This one is N- <laughs> Sorry. What was that? What was that? Alright. Oh my gosh. Meow. Oh, terrible. Oh.